What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Scott Jordan here. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about a couple things you need to do before you start mixing your songs. And you're probably wondering, like, what the fuck should you do? This is for the people that's getting sessions in. So, if people sending you Pro Tools sessions, Logic sessions, FL sessions, all the other shit, like, you're going to have to mix from what they send you. Nine times out of ten, they're not just going to send this them. They're going to send a session. And when the people send a session, you need to know what to do to organize it and do all this other shit. So, I'm going to go over a couple things that I like to do before I start mixing those songs that get sent to me that I did not record. Because if I record the song, I get to arrange it, have I like, whenever I want to mix it. But, you know, if you don't record the song, you you know what I'm saying, it shit can be unorganized and all the other shit. And you kind of want to see what the fuck going on in your session. So... Let's see. I got a session right here that was something. You know, I said, shoddy hard. I'm not going to, like, you kind of want to see what the fuck going on. This is not one of my templates. I didn't record this or nothing. So, we're just going to go over it and see, like, what the fuck you should do when you want to clean it up. So, one of the first things I like to do, I like to look at how the shit is routed and kind of, like, see what plugins I have, what plugins are missing. And kind of organize it, find out what everything is in the session. Like, I need to know what the hook is, the verse is, what the ad-libs, like, everything. Like, what the fuck is going on? So, what are we going to do now? I'm just going to look through the song a little bit. Let's see. Won't you be my little baby? Fuck with me. Take a shot at your heart. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so that's probably the verse. Okay, this the hook. Uh, uh, hook. So that's my hook track. And now I'm going to put a marker up here just for the fact, like, I know for a fact, like, this shit is the hook. So, right, right here at a marker, right there. Hook. All right, so that's the hook start right there. So I think this is. She went like a portal. Alright, just so we know we can go there. So, verse 2. Here. <laughs> Alright, so verse 2. Now we can go over here. What we get right here? Marker. Hook. Right. Hook. And now we can go up here. Yeah. Marker. Verse one. Alright. So now it look a little cleaner, right? We're looking a little bit more organized, right? Just a little bit, just off the fact that we got this shit arranged. Now we got okay, now we know uh, this is verse one. And then we can go down right here. I know this is verse two one. Okay, one punch. I can't spell it in for some reason. No, that's verse one punch. So, uh, and we see, I probably got some shit in here going with the hook. So, I duplicate this. Right? And I can do it here and bring that up. Paste that in. So, that's hook. Um, punch, right? That could be like a hook punch. What I'm going to do, I'm going to color code these shits differently. So, I'm going to make them shits like that. Uh, the verses. I know this is verse 2. Let's see, verse two punch. Kind of know where everything is. I can get rid of this shit. Don't need that shit there no more. Let's see, I can change the color of these shits to like this color. Just to stay organized. So I don't need to record check anymore. Because we, we just got to get rid of shit we don't need anymore. Get rid of these shits right here. Alright, now we're looking better. I don't have this plugin. That's an EQ. That probably rolled off some high end. Okay, so we can get rid of that shit. Um, I don't have AutoTune Pro, so I can get rid of AutoTune Pro. Get rid of that. Just get rid of everything we don't need. We want to clean this shit up so we can have a fresh little start off with what they already had. And we kind of want to see what's going on, how everything is routed and shit. I know this takes a little time. Sometimes it might not take a lot because some people might record and send everything over real clean. That's why organization skills and shit, being an engineer or a recording engineer or just if you're an artist, it, it'll, it'll make shit a lot easier, especially when the engineer gets it. 
So now we got this. So now we know like these are like libs. I could be like A. I could be like libs B. And like um, like libs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't type, bruh. Libs C. All right. So now I got those. All right. I like to go up here and color code my shit. I don't understand why this shit wasn't color coded anyway. But okay. So now shit is color coded. Looks a little different. Instrument, cool. So now we got the beat. Click track up here. Okay, so this is the hook ox. We could put that there. Let's make that the same color, pink. And now we have the verse ox right here. I would no, that is not the verse ox because they got everything going here for some reason. So all of these shits go into the hook ox, and this right here is really my ad lib. Ox, right here, <laughs> shit is crazy, cause that'll fuck a lot of people up. Um, for real. Um, yeah. So, alright. Shit looks crazy for now, but it's like now I understand what the fuck going on. All these shits are going here, then all of these are going here, and now we just had to reverb the layers and shit down here at the bottom. We get somewhere now. Look a little cleaner than when we first got it. Look a little bit more organized. So now this is important. This is what I need a lot of people to understand. You wanna look at this shit. They got the volume right here cranked all the way up down there. You wanna look for that shit? You wanna look at that because there's no compression going on. You kinda wanna see what's missing. There's no compression. You got shit pan to the left, you got shit pan to the right. You always wanna check and see if there are comments in here. No comments. So now we can just turn that off a little bit. So you kind of want to see what's going on. These are paying to the left. Left. We got these to the... Okay. So it's like not the left. Like these paying to the right. Right. Left. Um, This is boosted up 10.7. 10.7. Uh, okay. This is up. This is up. No panning going on here. That's down negative two. Okay. This is now nah, this part right here gets tricky. This is you want to look at. You want to look at how they got the plugins set up already before you get a hold to it. So I had a feeling they was gonna do this because a lot of people do this. This is a mistake that a lot of people make. Um, this is the first EQ, so the signal is gonna hit this EQ first before it gets to the Q10. And you see they got this cut right. They got this rolled off right. This is rolled off so. Any of this little frequency right here is cut anyway. You don't need to come behind it with another EQ and do the same shit right here. But you kind of want to see what's going on. So they got auto tune EFX on the ad libs. Let me show you. They got auto tune EFX on the ad libs. We got a deesser on the ad libs. Um, what do we got? We got this right here. Same thing. Like same exact shit right here on the ad libs. Same exact shit. Same as that shit. Even though we have a male voice and a female voice, this shit isn't EQ'd any differently. Like, so what you want to do, like, after that is, if they got auto-tune, you can put your auto-tune in here. But if you want to EQ and process each individual vocal, you can. Like, what I would do in this situation is, because I'm dealing with punches. I want this shit to have the same shit most of the time. I'm going to send this shit to a new track. And I'm going to be like, verse one ox i'm still in the process of organizing shit setting everything up for my mix so okay so these are going here all right so now if i want to send this to the bus or whatever i could let's say if i was sending everything to the hook bus i just go here and that's in here and it's still gonna go here it's just going here like these two are together now same thing for this Verse 2, I can send both of these to a new track. I can send both of these to a new track. Right here, and it'd be like verse 2, ox. So now I got verse 2, ox. And if I want to send that to the hook as well, I just go down here and send that to the same bus. So these are going to the same bus, right? If I wanted them to go there, if I wanted those to go to the same ox as the hook, it could go there. But let's say if I wanted both of these to go to its own. So now I could be like, 
verse. Okay. Oh, uh, verse. I can do that. So now, all of my verses, I could bring the hook back up here and just leave the fucking hook alone. And now I have all my verses going here. So I can tweak. I got more control right here. I can process these vocals individually up here. Right here, right? Let's say I want to have the same EQ for both of these. Versus having to do the same EQ twice, I can put it here. But if I need to have different EQ settings for each part, I can go up here and do both of those if I need to. If I want one of these to have some different effects, I can go directly to the track. If I want both of them to have something the same way versus of having the same plugin twice, I can put it right here. Process it differently. Like, this is what you really need to get into. You want to figure out how you can make the session and organize the session the way you want it to be so you understand what the fuck is going on. You want to understand the signal flow of the session. Whether you went Logic, Pro Tools, Ableton, FL Studio, you want to see how things is routed, see what signal is going where, how they got the settings already, see what you need to do to make shit better, all kind of shit like that. But listen, this is some of the shit I do before I start to mix the song. I don't just download the shit and mix the shit right then. I got to see what the fuck going on. Like, I got to see if I even want to mix the song. Because it's a lot of times I get a lot of sessions in. It's like, I'm not going to mix this shit. Like, this shit isn't recorded right. I'm going to tell the person, like, bro, like, I can't mix this. Like, it's not recorded right. I'm missing files. Um, shit is recorded badly, all kind of shit, man. It's like a lot of factors going in. So you want to send shit that people can mix. You don't want to send just anything. So now versus from when it was first sent, I actually see a little organization. I see a little structure. I know what the fuck is everything right now because I know this is my hook. I'm dealing with shit down here. This is my verse and like these are my lips. This is my reverb, my delay. Master Fader, everything is here. I can mix from this and I can have fun doing what the fuck I want to do now. So these are just some of the things you need to think about when you prep your mix. A lot of people don't prep their mix. They just jump right the fuck in it and then they get faced with some problems and they get confused and don't know what the fuck going on. So then you got to start all the way over and you're wasting time. I don't like to waste time when it comes to mixing. All right. But listen, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Sky Joy. I'm out of here. All right.